Okay, so this is uh, part two of the video which is named uh, Data Processing in Chrome Million. Um, so, uh, so if you haven't watched part one, uh, please do so because you know this is a continuation of that, and uh, you know you might not follow what's going on over here. Uh, so, in part one, I showed you how to uh, create a processing method uh, for you know for the sequence and how to do library searches so uh, now let me show you something more I mean uh, so you say uh, this particular compound terbutin you know, which is which is the one which I've selected over here so if I select this one you know the symmetric highlights uh, over here in the interactive results and uh, say suppose I wanted to know more about this peak, you know, what is the peak area, so, you know, um, I mean, you would just go to the summary view over here, and uh, you'll have the peak area for that particular peak, um, for that particular injection, so this is at 1 ppm injection, so, um, so this is the area for the tick, uh, that is total ion chromatogram, um, Another way to find out the area is, uh, you know, click on this button, which is peak properties, and it'll give you peak properties for that particular, for the highlighted peak. Uh, you know, the area is the same, retention time, etc. So let me unclick this. Now, uh, say suppose I wanted uh, this peak to be named. You know, I want the name Symmetran uh, with retention time area like that. So, how would you do that? Uh, um, so, what you need to do is uh, go to the processing method. So, I click on this processing method. So, let me unclick this interactive results so that you know you have more space. And uh, so, if you remember, you know this was the last screen that was there. You know the MS library screening, and we added the library in here. So, to name this peak, to show the name of the peak. Um, every time for all the injections, what you what you need to do is add that particular component in this MS component table over here. This one, MS component table. So this MS component table is, uh, I think, the most important uh, table uh, if you're doing you know quantitative work um, because this is where you would add your analytes. Uh, and you know you'll add your calibration levels and this is you know this is where you add uh, uh, like all the information that is re related to the component so so i know from my library search that uh, this is symmetric um so that's what i'll do that i will add that component here so uh, you know uh, there are multiple ways to do this i'll show you you know one way uh, which is manually adding it so so you click over here, click here to add a new component. Okay. And uh, the component is symmetric. I hope that's the correct spelling. And I click on create. Okay. So, um, so it created the name symmetric, but the retention time is obviously not correct. It, it's sh like the default is showing a zero. So I go back, I, I like I click back over here uh, and I you know there are two <laughs> there, uh, there are two ways where you can see the retention time I mean you can uh, see it over here in the lower lower right say like in this corner over here and if I you know if I hover around the apex in it's showing 13.73 or another way is you know see over here 13.73 so whatever suits you uh, and you just Type your the retention time in over here. So I'll type in 13.73. Okay. So um, and uh, the window. So the window is uh, you know 0.1 AF. So what is AF? So let me let me uh, let me show you like more details about this. So if I double click on this, okay. So it will open up a window which is which shows the properties for this symmetric compound that we have just now created 
and uh, retention so we wrote that down 13.73 and uh, so this point one that you saw over here so the window is uh, it will try to detect the peak at 13.73 plus or minus 0 0.1 minutes and then interpretation is absolute and the component matches first so whichever peak that is the first that is the first third uh, the first you know from 13.73 that it will label so uh, you see if I do it at first so what it has done it has uh, labeled the peak which was the nearest to 13.73 plus or minus 0.1 right so you know <laughs> it labeled the peak over here which it thought uh, you know at 13.64 you know which is obviously not right we want this peak we want this peak right so generally uh, what I do is I will do it and double click there and I'll do it greatest so if I do greatest it will automatically pick up the highest peak in this window 13.73 plus or minus 0.1 minutes okay so let me close this for now to show you so so it so it has automatically labeled your peak you know retention time 13.73 symmetron area and it shows the area for the tick the total ion chromatogram so let me just zoom out so you can you know see uh, so so this is how you label the peaks um, okay let me sh stop the video now and uh,